Should you run Arch on your servers? This is a question I've asked myself and uh, over the last few months, I've been migrating to Arch for all the workloads over the last, say, 10 years that have uh, kind of been left over uh, from old consulting gigs, from software projects that I worked on, from friends and family hosting things, everything basically not at my 40 hour a week kind of main career job. Uh, all of those projects have been, until now, on various operating systems, from CentOS to Debian to Ubuntu. And I finally was kind of joking around with a friend like, yeah, you know, I love Arch on my personal machines. Why not use it for servers everywhere? And you know, like the whole, all the sysadmins just have a little belly laugh and we move on to the next topic, but it stuck with me. And I was like, you know, screw it. I'm just gonna do it. And uh, in this video, give me like, 10 minutes and I'll talk about the pros, cons, experiences I had, uh, and a few things that I would caution against or situations that I would caution against uh, using Arch in. See you inside. So to understand why you would wanna use Arch on a server box that is serving something, you have to understand why people like using Arch uh, on their desktops and laptops. The reason I like using Arch on my desktops and laptops, it started, there's a couple main reasons, but it started with package availability. Often you are faced with a problem on Ubuntu and a lot of other kind of release-based distros. Package availability is not as incredibly vast as when you're using Arch. The Arch community uh, maintains bleeding edge versions of literally just about anything you can think of uh, available through the package manager. So you don't need to manually download compile, install, configure stuff. Like you, you do it all through the package manager, which also means you don't need to remember everything that you manually installed so you can make sure it gets security upgrades and everything else. That's a huge benefit to using Arch. Just about anything you can think of is one Pac-Man command away from running on your machine or at least being installed. I'm being hyperbolic here. The second reason I love Arch is that it is minimalist. It occupies a very, very narrow slot for me right between too much of a pain in the ass to install, configure, set up minimalist, like build your own distribution stuff. And between too much magical things are running and I don't even know what's going on on my own machine anymore and they're conflicting and I'm like, Cloudinit is doing things in the cloud and conflicting with some stuff that's already running on the box that I didn't know about and I get mad and I get frustrated and I go to stand up and I'm angry and I talk to my friends about it and, uh, when you run a minimalist distribution, you're just much, you're getting much closer to the stuff that you've actually configured is pretty much all that's running on that box. It really fills that need for me of kind of being in control, reducing the surface area in terms of like attack surface for security stuff. There's not that much mystery stuff happening on the machine. I'm, I'm, I feel like I can keep in my mind what is actually happening on that box. So I actually moved just shy of 10 discrete workloads, so separate projects, websites, uh, services that, that I was running and maintaining for people and companies, to discrete Arch VMs uh, in Amazon and in Google Cloud. How was it? Uh, <laughs> it's been great. Uh, having, first of all, having one kind of base configuration for all of my sort of free time maintenance uh, legacy projects is wonderful. Um, but I think the benefits of this aren't just for your personal service. I think you could roll out Arch. Like if I started a company tomorrow, I probably would base the server images on Arch unless I had a really good reason not to. So aside from the package availability, it's wonderful. Aside from the minimalism, it makes me feel safe inside. The third huge reason that I love Arch is that it is, it's a rolling distribution. What that means is every time you do um, uh, Pac-Man SYU to upgrade all of your packages, uh, analogous to like an apt-get upgrade on Ubuntu. It brings me up to the bleeding edge version of everything. So the very newest version of everything, the kernel, the kind of like base OS uh, system utilities and all the software I have installed. Now that sounds like, okay, don't all package managers do that? Which is, you would think that, but they don't. Um, an Ubuntu LTS version is gonna use the same kind of core libraries with just very minor updates for security uh, and major bug fixes until you upgrade to the next version. So when you go from 18.04 to 20.04 on Ubuntu, 
that's when kind of the base system actually gets upgraded. All those core utilities aside, from, and actually a lot of the uh, optional stuff you've installed, so services like MySQL, your PHP, uh, your Python, um, those things are more or less static on these LTS versions. And a lot of companies want that. That gives them a feeling of safety, of stability, fine. But inevitably, uh, and I've been part of projects like this several times, where what should be a small changeover, like Ubuntu 14.04 to 16.04, you scope a certain amount, you're like, hey, I know that's gonna be some tech debt, but we'll manage it. And it's always more than you think. So slowly, as a long-term distribution ages, you're building up this invisible tech debt that you are going to have to pay off at some point. One of the wonderful things about Arch in a server environment is that you pay this tech debt off as it occurs. And if you have any kind of reasonable image building process where you're not just like rolling things out in production willy-nilly without testing, or God forbid using mutable infrastructure, out in like your production environment. So you're building images and then promoting them through some testing and build process out and then approving them for production. If you're doing that, I actually do recommend, even if you're in a larger organization, that you use Arch. Now, my personal projects that I'm using this for, there's a max of three uh, people that are working on any one of these projects. And most of them have only me essentially working on them plus some sort of end customer but I still would recommend them for larger orgs. Uh, like I said before, if I started a company tomorrow, I would definitely use Arch as the base server OS. Because again, provided that you are rolling out images in a sane way, you're actually fairly safe and you get to deal with each issue as it comes up. For example, one of the things that could happen, one of the objections to this would be, but Dave, what if I'm running my sequels, some version, and uh, my devs are using some about to be deprecated, like it's already causing warnings uh, feature. And if we just use Pac-Man to upgrade everything to the most bleeding edge version, well then one day the image just won't work. Like the application won't work because MySQL will be like, no, that's deprecated and you can't use that anymore. And then everything will be broken and like the sky will fall and everything will be on fire and it'll just be 2020 forever. And fine, but then you go fix that, right? Like when it comes up, then you roll out a fixed image and congratulations, that's one more thing you don't need to deal with in some huge like three month upgrade project where everything on the box on the base image gets upgraded. So I hope that's a, a bit of caution, but also a bit of optimism for like, it shouldn't be that big of a deal if you have reasonable processes. And if you don't have those reasonable processes, you got way bigger problems than what server OS you're running. I've had a great experience so far. I love using Arch on my personal systems and I highly recommend trying it, starting for your personal project, see how you like it. And then once you're kind of comfortable with a long lived Archbox out in the world in production somewhere, uh, maybe some of you will make a move at a small, flexible, agile company to be like, hey, if we're looking for to like standardize on a base image, well, let's, use, let's try Arch. I think it's a cool idea. Let me know if you've done this before. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe, etc. Watch me on the TikToks and the... Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm a real, real sad nerd. Just doing, doing my Linuxes in the basement and my clouds. And I'm not on TikTok. And I never will be. But I love you anyway. Peace. I just recorded a 12 minute video without actually hitting record on the camera. This should work a little better.